Prigozhin refused to comply with Shoigu's order. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu ordered all volunteer detachments at the front in the Ukraine war to sign contracts with the Defense Ministry by July the 1st in order to increase the effectiveness of the army. These measures will increase the combat capabilities and effectiveness of the armed forces and their volunteer detachments. Deputy Defense Minister Nikolai Pankov said, Though the ministry did not mention Wagner in its public statement, the Russian media reported that it was an attempt by Shoigu to bring the mercenaries to heel. But Wagner Group founder Yevgeny Prigozhin said his fighters will flatly reject a new order by Sergei Shoigu requiring they sign contracts with the ministry by July the 1st. The leader of the mercenary outfit said that his soldiers will refuse to join Russia's regular forces. Wagner will not sign any contracts with Shoigu. Prigozhin said through his press service. Shoigu cannot properly manage military formations. Prigozhin has assailed the ministry's war strategy and repeatedly accused it of failing to properly arm his soldiers. In response, the ministry banned him from recruiting imprisoned Russian convicts. Wagner Group coordinates its actions with generals and has the best experience and a highly effective structure. Unfortunately, most military units do not have such efficiency, Prigozhin said, blaming Shoigu for the failure. Shoigu cannot properly manage military formations, Prigozhin said, adding that Wagner coordinated its actions in Ukraine with General Sergei Surovikin. Prigozhin said the ministry might use the failure to comply with the orders as a reason to deprive Wagner of supplies. What could happen after this order is that they will not give us weapons and ammunition. We will figure it out, as they say, Prigozhin said. Despite huge losses and a ban on recruiting prisoners from Russia's penal colonies, Prigozhin is still thought to have up to 60,000 men at his disposal.